Hi all, Arthur White Crummy here, a political reporter with the Regina Leader Post. I'm here with Murray Mandrick, our political columnist for our weekly uh, politics check-in on the federal campaign, why you should care. Uh, so Murray, we're only a uh, couple days out here until uh, E-Day on Monday. And um, I was wondering just what happens next? It's looking increasingly like it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a you know, minority parliament. So what happens the day after? It's bananas. Who knows? It all depends on what minority it is, whether whether it's a liberal minority uh, supported by the Greens and the NDP. It might not be the same liberal government that we had, and a lot of people out here don't like that one. And if it's a conservative minority, it's a question of, well, who is really supporting them? Is it the bloc? Is it the uh, liberals? Is it the Greens? Is it the NDP? How can anybody possibly support the conservatives given what their campaign has been about, which has been, we need a majority, everybody else is problematic for us. So there's a lot of confusion over how this works. Okay. Um, Andrew Scheer has been arguing that he, if he does come out ahead, even by a few seats, should have first crack at forming a government. Is that right? How does it work? Well, if I was Andrew Scheer, I'd say that too. I'd get first crack of the government. But that's not how it works. It, 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 it's, it's actually the, the Prime Minister of the day gets the opportunity to present himself to the Governor General and say, look, I can form a government or I can't. If he can't, if there's no uh, reason to suspect that he can, the opposi opposition leader comes forward and basically says, hey, I can form a government by doing so, or the one with the most seats can try to govern on a minority basis, which is what we've seen what happened when uh, Stephen Harper took over from Paul Martin. So it's really not as complicated as it seems. I get why Andrew Scheer is saying that, because he needs a majority. So his comments, I think, are more political than they are uh, constitutionally, constitutionally valid. Constitutionally <laughs> valid. We'll put it that way. Let's say that he does end up in a minority situation. Okay. Andrew Scheer has made a lot of promises that look pretty good in certain corners of Saskatchewan, repealing the carbon tax, uh, making pipeline approvals a little bit more streamlined. Um, can that happen oh, without sure. a conservative majority? All he has to do is get the Bloc Quebecois to change their mind totally and say, yeah, we're for pipelines now, we'll, we'll repeal the car. No, it can happen, of course. It, 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 it's, it's, it's crazy for sure to think it actually can under these circumstances, which is the chance that they took on early in the campaign by running uh, a lot of very strident positions. Now, this was developing over time where there would be this great showdown between on the environment between the, the carbon tax people and the non-carbon tax people and the this versus the that. He took his chance that he was going to form a majority government and be able to implement all this. Quite obviously, that looks like it's not going to happen right now. So he's really messed up. The best people, and this is weird, the best chance of working with anybody is the liberals that he's been calling uh, incompetent and untrustworthy and not fit to to uh, to govern, uh, and he might actually have to govern with them. Hmm. So we might see a uh, meeting of the minds of Justin Trudeau and Andrew Scheer. No, I don't <laughs> think we'll see that either. But it, 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 it it's going to be one heck of a show, uh, I think, if it if it turns out the way it looks like it's turning out right now. Uh, and the, the great thing about this one, everybody's vote kind of really matters this time. So. Those who always think, well, gee, I'm not going to go out and vote because it really doesn't matter. Well, this time it actually could because it is that tight. It is that great disincentive to, uh, or that great incentive right now uh, compared to past disincentives to think that your vote won't count to actually go out and vote this time. And wouldn't it be really putting the boots to both parties right now by having a minority government and giving them exactly what they don't want. I'm not seeing an easy path right now to any of those being solved. It's like working with me. There is no easy path. <laughs> well, thanks for sticking with us. Uh, this is uh, going to be a wrap for us on uh, our why, why You Should Care uh, election series. So thanks for uh, talking to me, Murray. Always a pleasure. It's been fun.